Hey Christy, we're on the other side of where we just were. It's we um, drove up the road just a bit and parked. Um, surfers do come out here, but I'm see how much sand there is. I bet this place is packed in the summer. But um, what I the reason why I turned it back on is look at all the shells. Oops. Wait, I just saw one. One of the little itty bitty guys. Don't go. Yes, one of those little white ones again. Um, but I just thought we would dig for a minute. I've already found two more of those. I'm telling you, I never used to find those holes, and now I'm finding them everywhere. So this is interesting. Um, they do, you know, these shells, this is the inside of one of those shells. Isn't he pretty? Though, look, he's been out there a while. Um, but of course I'm always, you, you'll find sea glass, a lot of sea glass out here. Some of it's sharp and some of it's not. Um, there's a big piece of people, I think the fishermen must, no, I don't want to blame it on fishermen. Oh my God, look at the color of that one. He's not whole, but boy, he's got like, um, let's see if I can get him in the sunlight. Like pretty. I have no idea. Oh, I've never seen a dark one of these. Um, oh my God, now that's sea glass. See that? That's been out there for a long time. Um, rather than people throwing their garbage out um, and calling it, you know, like throwing their beer bottles over the edge of their, oh, forget the beer bottle. What did I find? Another one of those. Um, the interesting thing, see, he, he is probably part of a beer bottle, but he's kind of pretty. So I'm going to take him anyway. Oh my God, look at this little guy. He's like blue. Can you see him? Okay. That's a pretty rock. Um, you have to get close up again. See, I love these little guys. I don't know why. They just are, they remind me of fossils. This is a slipper shell. Um, you don't see them in blue very often, or I don't. Maybe there's a place for them. Well, uh, maybe this is the place. I just found another one. Oh, I'm hot. I gotta take off my jacket again. All right, let's go up here. Lots of stuff going on in this area. I just thought we would come up against the wall where people weren't walking. Let's see what we can find. This isn't sharp enough. I'm gonna leave them. And I don't think the kids are gonna be walking barefoot out here, so I don't want to worry about it. Um, another big piece. He's fairly new, but he's not sharp. Oh, another blue slipper shell. Okay, so if you want to find blue shipper, slipper shells, they're all over here. Um, just curious, every beach has a different vibe, different character. That's just a piece of conc um, pavement. I don't know why you see that, but I'm sure in hurricanes that happens too. So, there's a big one of those shells with the holes in it. Stuff goes living. Now, these are always fun. This guy's got, see the little lines, like little versus just having like holes in them. So I think these would make these so interesting. I'll take this back and see. Doug wants to keep it. Um, I'll take it anyway. Oh, this was the one that caught my attention that made me d decide to start filming. So he's a slipper shell and look at the patterns of the other life that have been, um, living on him. Now, um, let me put these, is that tea plate? It would be a teeny tiny piece if it is. Where'd my pocket go? Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if that's tea kite or not. It feels light. All right, I'll just put them in. 
who knows? I'm gonna come back here. Um, Doug's just, um, he's just enjoying the view when I can sit here and just totally get lost. Oh, what did we find again? What are these? I don't know. Okay. So it's a short one, but I wanted to show you, and I found this big, beautiful piece of uh, driftwood. And there's my shadow. <laughs> um, he's he's definitely not that weathered, but he's still pretty. Look, this is something I might find out in the woods. But he's been out here. Must have been from a recent um, storm. Seeing if we find anything interesting. Oh wait, is that tea kite? I think that I think there are teeny pieces of tea kite over here. Okay. I'm trying to get close to the wall because all these shells, people walk along this path that are so broken. There's a piece of that guy. He looks like he's been out there a while. I think this is just a black rock. First minute I find tea kite. Oh, got another one of those. I'm collecting those now. Okay, it's a short video. Oop, wait a second. How's that one look? That's a nice piece of quartz. A little drain right in here. <laughs> Wondering where all that water is. Ooh, how pretty. You know, there's always so much pretty in this. I bet there's a ton of sea glass out here, actually. If I got my quad out here and started digging, no telling what we would find. This is definitely um, an adventure we need to take during the week. quartz at home and I, I did pick up some big pieces of quartz for you but I'm like geez I can't keep picking up the big pieces for her because I gotta fin fix it but fit it in the box I think I'm gonna keep this one private because I'm big piece. You can, when they're shiny on the edges, you know that they're pretty old. It's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of glass out here. So I bet you could find some really pretty pieces if you spent some time. Ooh, look at that. This is from a shell. Now, what could you do with that? It looks like it's from a clam shell in layers. Another clear piece of glass. Mm. Everybody blames it on the fishermen, and I'm not going to do that. I catch myself doing that because people are like, oh, it's probably the fishermen throwing it overboard. I got news for you. There are a lot of people that like to go out and party in the summer, and fishermen are on there. Working, I'm sure, you know, I'm not going to say that they're not drinking beer, but, uh-oh, what did we find? He's teeny, but more tea kite. 
And there's our feather. What's that? Got a little heart in him. I don't think that's tea kite. Um, Brian teases on this India because you know more about uh, crystals and the names of stuff than I do. Okay, so let's call it. I always say that. We're going to finish up and then we find something else. Um, Doug and I are starving, so we were headed off and he asked me, uh oh! Now this is like my new thing. Like the universe keeps like popping these up. The pattern is gorgeous. I can't imagine. Like, can you imagine like a beautiful jar just filled with those? Here's another um, whole one of the these guys. Um, that's the kind that I was telling you about yesterday that could come to me. He's cool looking. Most people think those are trash, and I don't. I think they're gorgeous. Okay, so we'll come back down here, Christy. Spend some time digging, okay? All right, let me give you some peace that you listen to the ocean. Look at the kids in shorts, barefoot, running around playing. Oh, that makes me so happy. Can you see them? Oh, let's walk towards them. It's gonna be a lot. Oh, what, what did we find? He's not completely whole. Starting to make quite a collect collection of these. This now looks like a some kind of rock. Um that sea creatures have been living in or something. That's interesting. These are the edge of the clam, these are the clamshell hinge thing that I refer to. The hinges are very strong. I'm digging again, how can I help myself? I swear to God, I by the end of this, there's some nice quartz. Um, by the end of this, I'm gonna know every beast there is to know. And what you can find. Not Ooh. All right, let's go watch this kids for a minute. now moment and enjoying it's beautiful hey so we go from seven to the 40s how's that <clears throat> I got so hot on the other side I, I had to take both jackets off and I had a sweatshirt on and I was ready to jump in uh, the water I gotta find out if you can swim here's one of the little areas you know how I love looking in these little areas. There's the edge of a scallop shell. This looks like it was a blue clam shell that got lived in. Little brick. It's gotta be some kind of seaweed. Here's one of the wampum clam shells that have been out there a while. He's kind of, um, he's got his little holes and Okay. And then there's a little creek over here. I don't know.
not know where this water is coming from. Is it coming from the other side? So you see you have some water and it makes this beautiful little path like this. Just goes down to the water. Right there. There we go. Okay, joy and love and peace.